So are you still on the fence about starting a drone business? Well, now might be a good time to actually pull the trigger and do it. So stick around, let me give you my thoughts on it. So the big question for today is, should I start a drone business? Well, in order to answer that question, we need to look at the world around us, don't we? Now, whether you believe we're in a recession, going to be in a recession, have been in a recession or whatever, that really doesn't matter. But what we can do is look around us and say inflation is rampant. Look at fuel prices. I have to laugh at that one. A few years ago, my wife and I bought a diesel car, thinking number one, we like diesels, number two, great fuel mileage, and number three, low cost of diesel fuel. Well, that's all changed. It cost a hundred bucks the other day to fill the car up. And that's a lot more than what it costs to fill up our other car, which uses premium fuel and gets less gas mileage. So increased cost for us there. How about groceries? We all know that's gone way up. Again, my wife and I love creamer in our coffee in the mornings and use a lot of it. And those big bottles we used to buy or still buy used to be $5. They're now approaching $9. So how do you compensate for that? How do you have en enough money in your budget to do that kind of stuff? And if you live in Florida like we do, then we've got the home insurance crisis. That was bad even before the hurricanes. And once we hit Ian and Nicole, that's totally ravaged that. And we've got real concerns of what that's going to cost us. And then, of course, there's the Fed and interest rates. That has caused a major impact on companies when they try to borrow money or individuals on your credit cards and so on. Now, depending on what industry sector you work in, layoffs are a huge thing, which to me is kind of ironic because when you look at the unemployment figures, they're pretty good, pretty low. Looks like everything's fine. But let's have a look at Google. I love Google's thought on this. They said they're evaluating 10,000 underperforming employees, meaning they're looking to get rid of 10,000 people. And if you look at Meta, that's 11,000 people all because of the big investment they've made in the metaverse. Who else do we have? Hewlett Packard, 6,000 people. Then Amazon, the elephant in the room, 10,000 people there. And even companies like Zillow that deal in real estate are laying off upwards of 300 people. And it, what it gets me is too, this is not the old days where you went into HR, they talked to you and said you're being downsized or made redundant or whatever. These poor people are getting laid off in their sleep by text or email, or closed out of meetings on their computer. So it's a horrible situation for employees these days. And even if your job is not in jeopardy, wouldn't it be nice to have a side hustle to bring in some additional money, which could possibly turn into a full-time job later on? And that's where the drone business comes into play. So let's say you want to get started in the drone business. What can you do? Well, let's talk about real estate because everybody talks about real estate and drone photography. For the last two or three years, I've told my students not to bother with the real estate industry. Too much competition, prices were too low, and let's face it, when houses were selling in two and three days, an agent could care less about aerial photography. But things have changed. With the increase in mortgage rates, the decrease in housing prices, the increase in supply, but with the market slowing and high interest rates, agents are looking for any edge they can get because now it's taking longer to sell houses. So if you can put together a good photo package, video package, things that show the property off, then that will sell. Let's go up a notch and say construction monitoring. A lot of companies hire drone pilots to come, up, come by and film once a week or once a month or once every six weeks to look at the progress on a project they're building. That's a good option for you. But that takes a little better drone and some other software. Now let's look at some niche markets. How about thermal imaging? Let's say people are looking for water damage in roof leaks. If you've got a drone that can look at that, that can be a real good niche for you. Again, more expensive drone, different software, but there is a need. Then there's agriculture, big need for agriculture. If you've got a drone with a multi-spectral camera on it to look at plant counts, plant health, moisture contents, things like that. Agriculture is a real good area for that. And there's 3D modeling. A lot of requirements for that these days. A lot of drones will do that, but it requires investment in software. 
So where does that leave us? How do I get started in that? Well, if you want to start in real estate, you could look at a new, new drone, maybe a Mini 3 Pro, or a used one. You know, a lot of people got into this business on a spur of the moment thinking they can make money overnight and found out that wasn't the truth. And they're trying to sell those drones. So there's a, so there's a pretty good used market. Also, if you go to the DJI Refurbish site, they have a lot of drones on that site that you can buy for a pretty substantial discount. Okay, there's some options for you. But let's say you're already in the real estate business and somebody comes up to you and say, I got an opportunity for you. I need this roof inspected and I need thermal capabilities on a drone. Can you do it? You say, well, my drone doesn't do that. And I can't drop four or $5,000 on a new drone for this one job. So what can you do? Rent. How many companies out there do you know, both big and small, that rent equipment when they need to? Photographers come to mind. They're continually renting camera bodies, lenses, lights, C-stands, things to help them in big projects that come up where they don't want to buy the equipment. And construction projects. How many times have you driven by a construction site, see all the rental signs on the equipment? Looks like they rent most of their equipment. So why can't you do that? So I did some research, and it turns out there are multiple companies around the country that rent drones. They rent everything from Mini 3 Pros all the way up to the Matrice series, the M300 RTK. And it can run you anywhere from 50 bucks a day to 500 bucks a day. But it's certainly a lot cheaper way than buying something like that. It gives you the opportunity to expand your business, try this new area out, and if it makes sense, then buy the equipment. But remember, all businesses take work. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You need to put in the time, the effort, build the portfolio, knock on doors, cold call, whatever you need to do to build your business. But the industry is growing and there is work out there for you. So I hope this gave you some food for thought. It's a great industry to be in. You can be successful if you put the time into it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and if you feel like sharing with your friends, please do so. And as always, Thank you so much for watching.